Okay, Ashwarya, welcome on Europedia. Thank you, sir. And Ashwarya, you are presently uh, doing your masters from NIT uh, Suratkal, that is in uh, industrial biotechnology, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and you are uh, graduate in industrial biotechnology only. I want to know uh, more about this course which you are pursuing in NIT Suratkal, and also want to know about your journey. Uh, post gate how you got this opportunity and what was the other opportunities which popped up so let's uh, start it ashwarya and i start with your background in which i want to know about uh, uh, your uh, uh, background like from which part of india you are and then from which college you graduated and what was your gate score cgpa these basic things i want to know first sure sir uh, i'm ashwarya jayshan sir from tamil nadu i have uh, undergraduate uh, from a BTEC, from industrial biotechnology with a CGP of 8.56. Uh, and I have uh, gave my gate in uh, this 2022. And my gate score around 43.33, that is uh, 483. Okay. So, uh, Ashwara, this industrial biotechnology is not a very common uh, uh, stream in other colleges, right? Industrial yes. biotechnology is a very special kind of uh, stream. So may I know that uh, earlier you were medical student or an engineering like non-medical student in 11, 12. What was the stream? Uh, it, the biological stream only, sir. Bio maths. So so bio and maths combined, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and then you thought of going for industrial biotechnology. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, so why why at the first place you decided to go for that? So basically, I want to I wanted to be in a science team. So and also I'm not that much interested to enter into a doctor uh, that MBBS team. So mm -hmm. I want other choices in the science. So mm -hmm. I choose this uh, biotechnology course. Okay. So for the for the understanding of people who are watching us, can you explain what is actually industrial biotechnology? What is this all about? Because biotechnology we know, but what is industrial biotechnology? So basically, biotechnology uh, comprises of each and everything in that. But in industrial biotechnology, it is mostly based upon the industry process. Okay. Uh, what are the bioreactors? It mostly uh, based upon the industry perspective, full and fully industry perspective. What is going there? What is uh, upscaling, downstream, upstream, uh, bioreactors, everything in that mm -hmm. industrial perspective only. So mm -hmm. in BTEC also, I am industrial biotechnology but in the btech uh, it is uh, more or more similar to the biotechnology stream only okay. now uh, it is more into that particular stream okay. in BTEC, it was not like this it was similar to biotech but in this mtech uh, industrial biotechnology course only it is full of uh, uh, that uh, stream okay fully of industry perspective okay now ashwara after gate exam uh, you must have tried for because your cgpa was also very good you must have tried in different institutes i want to know from where you got the calls like when you apply and you got call for interview or something so what other institutes you got call from or selections yes sir i got call from iit varanasi for the interview uh, but uh, the interview was not they they were, didn't conduct any interview Okay. the process they just call us but they selected based upon the merit system only okay and i got seat in iit dhanbad in just merit no interviews i got a seat in iit dhanbad uh in that uh ma in the simultaneous time i got seat in uh, natk surat also okay. so i choose decided to join here okay so ashwara this uh, your cgps was very good I, I want to know whether you applied for ms which is called mtech research ra course and direct phd or you were only interested in mtech no sir i am interested in mtech only so i didn't apply any ms by research because it will take more time than uh, mtech so basically i want to wanted to enter into a job so yes. if I wanted to end up with a PhD or a research, I can choose that. But mm -hmm. I want job. That's why I choose mm -hmm. MTech. But, but I think had you applied for MS, you would have got more calls, right? Am I right in that? For MS Ah, uh, yes, sir. Sure. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Because in the summers, we were seeing that with your credentials, many people were getting a lot of calls in MS and all from different IITs. Right? Yes, sir. I knew some of them because of my uh, category. I okay. got this. But uh, some of them got uh, IITs, more good IITs than me. Okay. Okay, Ashwara, now coming to NIT Suratkal, can you tell us in which round of CCMT 
you got this because there are rounds so uh, first couple of rounds you must have got some another nits and then you got nit surat kal so can you for the viewers tell which round did you get it and then you uh, freeze this option and then uh, you got it finally yes sir actually i chose uh, chemical engineering also from this uh, same college so first in first round itself i got chemical engineering okay. then uh, further i think and i also ask uh, your uh, suggestion mm -hmm. because i don't want to change my major uh, mm -hmm. so i again uh, my first option was uh, this chemical engineering in mtech mm -hmm. my second option was this uh, mtech in bi industrial biotechnology mm -hmm. and uh, again only i asked uh, you and few of them so mm -hmm. and after i decided i don't want to change my major okay. so uh, in first round i got that chemical engineering in that uh, the within that swipe option i again uh, put this so i got in that second round itself i got uh, for this Okay, and this master's is also in industrial biotechnology, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. So, so do we find industrial biotechnology masters in many institute or they are very less institute? No, sir. Only here. Uh, Only industrial kala. biotechnology is available. Ah, mm. uh, yes, sir. In other institute, biotechnology is available. Mm. No, as far as, as far as we know, you know, NIT Surat Kal is a very prestigious institute at at par with the many of the IITs, right? we want to know from you uh, about your view about nit surat kal how do you find this campus yes sir it is very nice uh, the infrastructure and uh, more particularly the professors uh, they are very good uh, um, because i am from uh, other college i am not exposed to these iits and nits so uh, the professors their knowledge it is very um, very great uh from my point of view and uh, they are sharing all of their knowledge to us it is very good and i so far i completed my first semester so it is very good yeah. mm. ashwara many students also want to know about the college life in that you know what they want to know is like uh, 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 this library facilities hostel facilities mess and life in the campus and i have heard that surat kal has its own uh, uh, beach also i don't know whether that is true so yes, is, so what kind yes, of life you people lead there if you can give us some glimpse of that uh, sure sir actually here uh, the freedom is uh, freedom very much we okay. can have whatever we want we can do that mm. is the real fact whatever we want we can do in department also there is no strict rules they are following in department mm. also whatever uh, we can do uh, in the and the library facility is wonderful here okay okay we can stay in library up to 1 uh, am in the one day okay. you can sit there because huh? hostels ah oh, yes we can sit there we can study there are two different libraries are there one is e library we can study we can use that and another one is for uh, that uh, books uh, that for that mm. so we have we can sit because more students hello sir Yes. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now, Ashwara? Sir, can you hear me? Yes, yes, uh, I can hear you now. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Hostel so Ashwara, and, so they can go there and study. So it is very good. The, the library facility is wonderful here, and the food is also very good. And <laughs> as you said, beach is there, so everyone is enjoying morning. Uh, everyone going jogging, so they are enjoying very well. because you are from tamil nadu so for you you know you must have exposure to beaches but you this north indian they don't uh, have that exposure yes, sir. So they must yes. be enjoying i know? have few yes sir. i have few friends uh, friends from this madhya pradesh so mm. they are wondering oh my god <laughs> beaches here only they are wondering they don't uh, in their lifetime they never saw never seen that uh. beach so so they are very happy okay. they are always going there walking jogging etc okay ashwara now i would like to ask something about the hostel like uh, you people have got the single room or double occupancy what kind of uh, rooms you have got in hostel actually sir in first year uh, in mtech in first year we got a uh, triple sharing room okay uh, in second year uh, single sharing room is available second year me you will get that ha huh? yes okay. sir and now ashwara related to uh, the cost and fees can you tell me what is the fee structure like uh, in the moment you joined how much fee structure was there and uh, uh, what is the mess uh, expenditure and you may be getting scholarship also so is it possible to meet expenditure through that or you need to take from uh, parents and all how how it goes all 
No, oh, sir. First, initially we have to pay through the CCMT and all. So first, I paid uh, through CCMT forty thousand, and uh, here I paid uh, first. In first sum, the fees is little bit high, actually, mm -hmm. because it includes everything. So mm -hmm. first year, first sum, it is high. Mm -hmm. Nearly it is uh, forty plus thirty, and also for mess fees, it is thirty six. Hostel fees is very less, but okay. mess fees is for per semester, it is uh, thirty two thousand. Okay. And. Uh, Uh, this uh, stipend will come after four months of your joining. Yes. It it will it didn't come at the earlier stage. It will come yes. after four months of your joining. Mm -hmm. So after uh, stipend, now more people, my friends, also paying their fees by using this in the second semester. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means you, you can, can manage with the scholarship, right? Yes, sir. Yes. After mm -hmm. that, initial only we have to depend upon our parents. After that, we can manage. Mm. Okay, Ashwarya. Now, as you said, your focus is on job, and you want to join the job. So, what kind of placement scenario is there? And uh, I know that some students become the coordinator of the placement cell. They start coordinating the activities. So, uh, can you tell us about the placement situation? So, what are you planning now after your masters? Yes, sir. Actually, in NITK, there is a career development center (CDC). They call so that is there. They started initially when we came here. They started all the process like we are. Your resume should be perfect because we have to attend the internship at this end of this year. So the initial days, they itself they told to prepare with the resume, everything they advised us, uh, and also these placement uh, coordinators are there. They are also helping. Okay. and uh, the placements are good here okay we can also uh, non core uh, jobs that is up to us okay so wonderful. placements are now now only for our seniors placements is coming okay wonderful so i sure let, uh, let me also advise you a little bit here that uh, you should always try to become the coordinator or something in the placement cell because the moment you do that you get to know many things about the placements right and uh, those students who participate in the placement activities as coordinator or they do those kind of voluntary activities they are very close to the companies and then you know in the process they get the jobs also so if possible try to take that initiative and uh, be the part of that placement cell also as sure. well sure sir. so sure. now i think we have come to almost an end of this wonderful session anything you want to tell the students who must be watching you as sure Oh, yes, sir. Sure. So I wanted to tell: be confident. Uh, what you are, what do you want? Be confident on that particular point. Be precise always. Uh, that's be confident. That is the main thing. Don't lose okay. hope on any time. Okay, wonderful. And as sure as you know, your PDA mentors students for these kind of activities. So I will request you that time when the students of biotechnology will come. I'll request you and conduct one session of those students with you so that they get to know about many things of uh, this entire process. Right, Ashwara? Sure, sir. Sure. Thanks a lot, Ashwara. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks, sir.